Well, they sure don't make them like uh, they used to anymore. So Honda is apparently recalling 2.6 million vehicles due to a faulty fuel pumps. And my vehicle's on there. <laughs> I got a 20, it's a 2018 um, Honda Civic Type R, but yeah, it's on, it's on there. It's on the list. It made the list. So let's go through the list. I'll be honest, I kind of like the way they, um, <laughs> they they made this article. They used the R <laughs> recall. I love it. Um, 2.6 million Hondas and Acuras are recalled over faulty fuel pumps. The massive recall covers a multitude of models ranging from Honda Accord CRV to Acura TLX and the NSX. Holy shit, no car is safe. Oil might be the lifeblood of a combustion engine but the fuel is the food that keeps it running and for over 2.5 million hondas and acuras there's a chance that the fuel supply might run dry nothing to do with the world's oil supply running dry of course even of course or the government switching off the oil taps that you have to drive in ev yet yeah, no this is all due with a large batch of faulty dance so fuel pump that were fitted to numerous honda and acura cars between 2017 and 2020 models the issue centers around an incorrectly molded fuel pump impeller whose defective shape could cause it to interfere with fuel pump um, body potentially causing fuel starvation and because of recoil uh, recall notices have to revel in the absolute worst case scenario, a bit like an eight year old telling you about some gruesome accident they saw in school. NHTSA warns the fuel starvation could mean the engine stalls while driving, resulting in a crash or injury. Honda and Acura, for their part, say that no injuries or deaths have arisen due to dodgy <laughs> pumps. Sorry, 80-year-olds, but Honda has dealt with 4,042 warranty claims. I really should t check into that. I've gotten several, um, you know, like one of those recall notices, but my car has been fine. So, and I do all my, um, I do my own maintenance when it comes to oil changes, uh, rotating of the tires, and just simple maintenance stuff, um, checking my oil filters. I think I need to go check my oil filters. It's been... Not the oil filter, but it, um, <clears throat> air filter. I got to check that. It's been a minute. So next time I do an oil change, I got to go through and check everything. Make sure it's running on optimal, you know. Optimal. Yeah. Good. <laughs> like running good. You know what I mean? Like make sure there's not enough um, dust or make sure that it's, you know, running like it's supposed to run. Make sure it's clear of debris and all that stuff. So the car actually runs nice and smooth without any problems. It covers so many cars that it even manages to make Tesla's 2 million <laughs> unit autopilot recall appear less horrific than it really is. Uh, yeah, it's, <sighs> it's a lot of cars, man. From 2018, 2020, pretty much 2017 to 20. Damn, that's a lot of fucking vehicles. Literally every single one of them is on here. You got the Acura ILX, MDX, MDX Hybrid, NSX, RDX, RLX, TLX, Accord, Accord Hybrid, Civic, Civic Type Par, Honda Clarity, Plug-in, um, CRV Hybrid, Honda Fit. The only one I don't see on here is the... Um, it's the Honda truck. I don't see it on here. Right? It's not on the list. It didn't make the list. So yeah, the, the Ridgeline did not make this list. Otherwise, it would have been, you know, more vehicles. But anyway, it's it just seems like it's a trend nowadays. It's just there's always something wrong with these big manufacturers that used to be super reliable back in the day now. Um, they're not as reliable as they used to be. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're still making solid cars comparing 
to their competitors. But their competitors, some of them have actually stepped up their game. But I still stick with Honda, Toyota. Um, sometimes, you know, Subaru, Mazda. Um, those are just the ones that come in my head that are doing very well when it comes to reliability, building solid product and stuff like that. But even Toyota has had their run in with like recalls and shit and making shoddy <laughs> workmanship. When <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just no car company is safe. They're all taking fucking corners, to be honest with you guys. You know, you're just you're just gambling nowadays. Now you, you could never get those bulletproof Honda engines like they used to make in the early 90s and early 2000s now they're just trying to make as much money as they can so unfortunately you know the the product ends up suffering at the end of the day but let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are as always i really really appreciate all the support and like and subscribe on your way out have a good one